Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about a new feature in Tsunami 2 called True Idle. Now with a lot of hype surrounding the new Proto Throttle, we've been asked quite a bit about a feature called True Idle. Now, the real locomotives, so when the engineers would go from idle notch to notch one, all it does is excite the main generator to create electrical energy that's sent down to the traction motors. And what this does is this then gets the locomotive moving. Now traditionally this is only used really when the locomotive is light because there's nothing to pull but itself. So when the engineer wants to move the locomotive he simply goes from idle to notch one, the traction motors get power, the locomotive starts to move. Now the perception is to get enough energy to move the train, the engineer has to crank the throttle up all the way to really crank that prime mover up and get going. Now the perception is because this is typically done when attached to a train and so you usually have thousands of tons of cars behind your locomotive. And so to get moving, yes, it does take a lot more energy. Now with our true idle feature, this was released as part of the original Tsunami release back in 2008. And what happened is when you move from zero to speed step one, the prime mover didn't change as it was accurately simulating. Well, perception won out and we got a lot of calls and so therefore we implemented a notch. So when you go to speed step one, your prime mover increases the diesel engine RPM. So let's take a listen to how that works now. So with our locomotive, we're sitting at idle. We're gonna go ahead and go to speed step one. You see the locomotive start to move. You hear the prime mover ramp up. Now, this is the perception on how a locomotive works. Now, what I can do is I can take CD112 and I can enable what's called true idle. And this is gonna be worth a value of eight. So our default value of three now plus eight equals 11. So I'm gonna set CD112 to a value of 11. And now when I move my locomotive forward at speed step one, you see that the locomotive is moving, but you don't really hear much change in the prime mover. And that's because the true idle is enabled. And so therefore, when you go to speed step one, your prime mover will stay at idle. Now the reason this is relevant with the proto throttle is because you have the levers on your proto throttle that will show notch one, notch two, notch three, and so forth. And so in order to make everything work accurately, you would enable the true idle feature. Now this is available on Tsunami 2 diesel locomotives and all the version 1.2 that are available at stores today.